Hey guys, I'm going to do my best to show you some of the common issues with the Mercedes odometers. This one's particular, this one's out of a 123 chassis. This video might work for a 124. I'm pretty sure they're the exact same, if not extremely similar. So let's get to it right here. I've already taken apart my cluster. There's my tack. This is obviously the speedometer with the odometer. So let me show you what we're up against here. So the common, there's some common wear items, which are these uh, plastic gears. And you can see on my unit, they look okay. They're not great, but they're okay. You can see some slight wear on that gear right there. And originally I thought that was the problem, but if that gear is broken, that means nothing would work because your speedo cable goes in there and that's what drives the entire assembly. So if your speedometer is working, but uh, the odometer is not, it's not those gears. Maybe they're wearing out, but that's not the issue. So you have these little gears here on top of the actual odometer gears, and basically what these do is every time they turn about, I think, uh, what is it, Ten, you know, nine, after nine places, these will turn, which allows the next one to turn, and it just keeps going in a row. There's a reason this gear right here is attached to the smallest number on your odometer. On mine, it's a six, because that's gonna turn first, and then the next one, and then the next one. So let me just go right out and say here, if these become out of alignment, you have a problem. So no matter what you do, make sure those stay in place. Uh, I read a guide earlier that said you might wanna actually scotch tape those in place. That's probably a pretty good idea. So before I actually do what I'm going to do, I'm going to do that same idea. I'm going to put some scotch tape in there. That will keep the entire assembly straight to the best of its ability at least. Uh, another thing I did just to safeguard, just in case everything hits the fan, I took a picture of how many miles my car has on it. Just in case they completely go out of whack, I have to realign it, blah, blah, blah. So the whole assembly moves, right? That worm gear moves with it, you know, this one right here. So that one's moving and it stops. So that's, that's good. You, you want that. You want a little bit of end play on those. That's a good thing. Uh, another thing you can do, and this is actually recommended, you want to stick a drill in here uh, before you take it all apart. That is, leave it, in, leave it in this case when you do that, just so you know if you drop it, you're not going to like uh, break it as easily. Uh, hook it up to a drill, and that'll actually show you right then and there what your problem is. I'm going to go out on a limb and say your problem is this gear right here. So how you know this gear is bad is, so none of this is turning, right? That can't turn. This gear and this gear are supposed to match. So if I just go here and stop, you can see that it, you know, it looks probably okay, right? Right? But watch this. I can just keep moving this. See, look, I'm, ch I'm changing the mileage on my car just a little bit. And uh, if we look closer, look at the look the trip odometer is going up. So this is very clearly the problem with my car. You want to take your seven sixty fourth drill bit as you're sliding this out, and you want to push that in its place. That way, these can't go out of alignment. All right, so I just got this collar out. Looks like that. It looks like it's some kind of bronze or brass material. Whoever said it came out easy was full of shit. It took a little while. Just make sure as you're prying on it, I had to use a pretty hefty flathead. Make sure as you're prying on it, the shaft doesn't drop out or else you're gonna have a really tough time putting this back together because now you're gonna have to line up all these gears and all those little gears and they each have little notches that go around every 10 if you remember. So now we got that out of the way. Now I'm gonna slide that drill bit in here and that should make this a little bit easier. All right, so here we go. It looks like this was a 764th drill bit, and I slid that through the center of the gears, and here's the shaft removed, and now we can clearly see that it's completely smooth where that small plastic gear was. That's causing all the trouble. So if you go on forums and Facebook and stuff, a lot of people will tell you all you have to do is score this shaft and put it back together. It's not a bad fix, but it doesn't last forever. 
So we're gonna do that same thing, but we're gonna put a little bit of Loctite on the gear. But you have to be really careful because if you get Loctite on any of the other ones, you're gonna break the odometer. So it's really important to make sure only that one sticks because the other ones are actually supposed to freely ride. So how it works is that gray one turns from this shaft and the other ones are supposed to just freely move on it because these little gray gears are really what's turning these other ones. So if any of the other ones get stuck to this shaft, it's just gonna break it, it's not gonna work at all. So you have to find a way to get Loctite just on that shaft and nowhere else, just on that spot on the shaft. You can't do it on the gear itself because as you push this back in, you're gonna get it all on the entire shaft. So you can't do it that way. You pretty much have to, some of the guys online suggested using a toothpick and just kind of like squeezing just a little bit in there because there is a little bit of end play on this so you can slide it in there. I'm going to attempt either that or maybe just put a little bit on that part of the shaft itself. Another thing you want to be very conscious of is when you're scoring this, and by the way I just did with a, um, I just used a fine flathead screwdriver and don't be afraid to really rip into it, look at that. That's pretty deep. Make sure that when you're doing the scoring, you're only scoring in the area where that main gear is. Because if you do the scoring over here, you're going to put some wear on that. And maybe it'll be okay, maybe it won't. It might wear into it. But either way, you're putting a little bit of wear on the odometer and it's just not necessary. So what you want to do is kind of like line it up, kind of like how I have here. And just get like a visual of where that gear goes it's pretty much going to be uh, right in this area here right about there right where the right between here so score that and then we'll go to the next step all right guys so i thought about the best possible way to do this and what i did was i went ahead and i put the shaft back in the gears almost all the way so what i'm going to do is apply just a little bit of loctite right here and then when I push it in, it's going to bring the Loctite just over to where it needs to be and it shouldn't affect any of the other gears. So what I'm going to do, because this is I guess semi-risky, I'm going to wait for this to fully cure. I think it's got a cure time of like an hour or two. I don't know. It's the uh, green stuff, even though it's, actually no, it's the blue stuff. I am lying. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on that, slide it back in, and I'm gonna let it sit for however long the cure time is, and then I'm gonna test the odometer, make sure everything still works. And I'll know it's successful when I can't turn this gear by itself. See how I can still turn it? Actually, no, it's still moving there. So actually, right there, it's snug. It only, it only wears out just a little bit. Like, if you were to put a micrometer on this, you would see that the end of the shaft where this gear was is just the slightest bit smaller than everything else. But us doing that scoring made it kind of out of round. And that's kind of why this even works in the first place. All right, great. Now that I got that slightly out of the end, I'm just gonna very, very carefully give that a good squeeze. It's actually giving me a little bit of a fight. That's a good thing because, as we know, the last snag was that little, you know, the gear we had trouble with. So the more snug that is, the better. You don't want that to move. Okay, so I went ahead and put this back together a little bit. I didn't put the final brass piece in there yet. At least I assume it's brass. Luckily, when I pulled that pin out, I didn't get any of the gears out of line. So I was able to pretty much go in and out with the whole assembly. So that's good, I guess. And what I did here was I sprayed this with lithi white lithium grease. And as I drive the car, that's going to run on the shaft and run along all the cogs there, and it's good. Um, I put these uh, 2.8 miles on the odometer, on the trip odometer with my drill, just to see what it would do. 
and this moves a lot slower than I thought it did. So if you guys see this moving really slow, even though your drill is screaming, my drill only actually cranked the uh, speedometer up to about 40 miles an hour. Anyway, I'm going to put this back in the cluster, and we're going to go for a little ride and see just how well this actually works. <laughs> 